Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to what I excitedly present to you. Well, excited might be the uh, wrong choice of words. Maybe happily present to you? Uh, that's, that's not right either. Uh, tentatively, optimistically present to you? Uh, questionably, hopefully present to you? I, I'm presenting it. That, that's all I know. Uh, a game you might not have ever heard of before. It is called Lester the Unlikely. You're like, you're right, I haven't heard of that before. You see, there's a reason for that. Uh, and that reason is, it is generally considered one of the worst Super Nintendo games ever made. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know much about it, so join me as we take this uh, unlikely ride and, and just see if it's really as bad as people say. Hey. Uh, let me turn down this, the volume just a little more. It's very loud. Okay. Meet Lester, just a typical teenager, kind of geeky, kind of sleepy. All right, I mean that—that's all. That's starting out all right. Wow, the new issue of Super Duper Hero Squad's the best ever. I just wish I could afford to buy a copy of each of the issue's 52 different covers. That'd show the guys how cool I am. It would. Nothing like material possessions to show how cool you are. And then he died. The end. I think I'll lie down here and finish reading my comic. Hmm, alligator gal molted last issue. I wonder what she looks like. But Lester picked a bad place to take a nap. Will the captain believe his story about being a reluctant stowaway? First, <sighs> who walks to like the shipping pier? and takes a nap next to a, a giant, oh my goodness, cruise, but not cruise, but you know, like, a, like iron ore shipping container. As chance would have it, Lester's freighter was hijacked and scuttled by pirates, because of course it was. Luckily before the ship sank, Lester found a life vest and swam for the nearest tropical island. He was in the Arctic, so it was gonna be a very long way. Now, all right. Oh, I thought I had pressed start. Oh, we, okay, we, we saw that already. We don't need to watch that again. As thrilling as that movie was. Oh, uh, where am I? Where, why are my arms so tired? The last thing I can remember is the ship. Pirates! Oh no, my comic is a soggy mess. I want to go home. I'd better find somebody to help me get off this island. Okay. Uh, so here, while I, while I figure out how to even play this game, you might be asking yourself, okay, so we got wa- <laughs> I was gonna talk while I figured out how to play this, but I I can't wait any. Look at this, look at this. Okay, so we have walk. Can we run? We can... well, yes, we can run. Do we want to? I'm not sure that we do. Okay, jump. Oh, all right. He's got some jump at least. That's cool. Um, okay, so we can jump just straight up too. That that's good. Um, let's see, this... He's got some dance moves. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, move it, Lester. How unlikely. All right, and so that was the X button, A. All right, kick. R and L don't seem to do anything. Okay. I mean, I don't know anything about the game, so it very well still might be one of the worst games ever made, but... No! No! I mean, I don't blame him, that's... Like, I mean, what? You say Lester's like, I don't know, six feet. We'll just say average-ish. You know, six feet, I mean, that's a... What, like... Mm, under there, so... I mean, that's like, what, a ten-foot drop? I don't blame him for... These animations, man. Like, I don't blame him not wanting to jump off. Like, if I look down at a 10-foot drop, I'd be like, I'm not just gonna jump off that, no. So, you know what? I don't, maybe that's the unlikely thing, is he's reacting the way you would in this situation. All right. But now that I, I seem to have figured out, yeah, and the R and L aren't doing anything while I'm moving. Okay. Oh, that's pause, that select does nothing. All right, we've got our controls. Why am I playing one of the worst games ever made? Or Super Nintendo? Well... <laughs> oh, okay. 
It's a crab, man. Hello, crab. Can I kick it? Kick the crab. Yeah, I can kick it. Ah! Shows you. Now who's unlikely? I'm the winner. Turtle! And he runs... Well, it's a turtle. Just, like, don't put your hand in front of its mouth. Because, like, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, turtles and tortoises, they can bite really hard. Like, that's why it's called a snapping turtle. But so long as you stay away from its head, it's not gonna do anything to you, buddy. I kick the turtle. I do have to... What is... Hello? That! He's coming! Uh... Oh! Oh! Okay, so... This is his grab animation. I see. I... I don't know how I could have been that conf- Like, how did I not know that from the start? What, like, that looks exactly like someone grabbing for an item on the ground, doesn't it? It doesn't look like, you know, you're half putting your card in an ATM, half twerking. It, no, it makes perfect sense. Eh. Okay. Uh, what was- Oh, yeah, this game, I just keep getting confused because, I mean, look at it, that's why. Uh, but I keep losing my train of thought. Why am I doing the worst game, or one of the worst games ever made? The reason is because I was thinking, what do we do after Aladdin? And I was like, well, you know, Aladdin... Whoa. Uh, that just doesn't look right. We've got the biggest boulders of them all. I can't kick it, though, so... Hmm... Mm. Oh, I do have to do something with it, though. Mm. Okay, no, 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 no. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, again, who, you know, it's, it's perfectly obvious, I'm sure, to you. It's just me, me being so, so stupid and silly that who would have guessed that this is also your pushing a boulder animation? Of course. I'm sure you knew that. I Here, I'm just being dumb, I know. Um, yeah, I, what? Okay, so I took damage from falling from, from that high, which again, makes sense. But how do I not do that? I don't know. I mean, it is one of the worst games ever made, supposedly, for the Super Nintendo. So I guess maybe taking unavoidable damage is just something that you do. I guess that would make sense. Um, yeah. I was thinking, what should I do after Disney's Aladdin? No. Because, yeah, I agree, buddy. No, look at spiky, jagged rocks and, like, a giant jump. Like, I don't blame him. Lester, you're so unlikely. Why are you, like, like this man? Because he's not stupid. I pick this up? What? Or is this just foreground? I guess it's just foreground. Ugh. Huh. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, but... Ugh. Keep trying to talk, and I keep not. Because just everything about this game is baffling to me. Mm. Like, if I... I, like... That didn't hurt, so I don't know. Also, I gotta say... For being a, a supposedly terrible game, at least the graphics are nice. I mean, look at, like, yeah, I mean, he is, he's that. And, like, I mean, you know, look at the, the face at the top right for your life counters. Like, I get they, they made a choice, and it's not necessarily the best one. But, I like, look at these palm trees and, like, the background. Like, just take, you know, like, Lester out of this and, like, the weird, you know, just, like, the jumping platforming rocks. Like... That's a pretty nice Super Nintendo background right there. You know, if you just take all this, the stuff about the game out of the game, it's fine. Alright, okay. Also good to know, even though it looks like I should be able to hold another item there, or another, like, health thing, I can't. Also interesting, it says there's a weapon in an item. Huh. Can you imagine this guy with a weapon? I can imagine him with an item, like a comic book or whatever, but... Like, here, take a gun, sir, and I'm just like, you know what? I think I'd rather take my chances with these crabs. Whoa, hi! Hi, hello. How are you? 
Why do you sound like in, why do you sound like a hawk? Stop sounding like a red tail hawk. You are not a red tail hawk. Stop. Did I kick it or push it? Push. Oh no, it was a trap. I fell in a hole. Yeah. I also, before I continue, I'm gonna I have the music, the, the game volume turned down pretty low because it's pretty loud, but I just want to give you the full experience for a second. Yeah, it's, it's not great. Not great at all. All right. Um, maybe I'll finally get to tell you why. Why am I do? Do I jump or drop? Well, I guess I'll try jumping, because... <gasps> yeah, baby. Uh, it's a dead end. Wait, rocks? Wait, thank you. Can I do something? Like, you look different than the rest of the rocks, but... You're not... I can't pick you up. I can't kick you, so I guess you're just scenery. What the... Where did... That... I guess those are rubies? I can't tell, like, is this supposed to be, like, ruby gem stuff below my feet or, like, blood? How about you? Oh, I got a weapon. How do I use a weapon? I mean, I picked it up with X, I guess. No? Oh. I see. Instead of a kick, now I can go, like, eh, and toss the rock. Okay. Okay, sure. Oh, that looks healthy. I'm gonna drink it. That is a lot of bats down there. That's like a, a Castlevania amount of bats down there. So what is all this moss, I guess? But uh, Here we are, yeah. We're, we're playing Disney's Aladdin. We're in the Cave of Wonders, that's why. All right, why? Why am I doing this? Because I was thinking. Which is always a dangerous prospect, I know. And, you know, the fact that we're doing this clearly attests to that fact. But... Aladdin was, I mean, it's just like Aladdin, Disney's Aladdin the game was like Aladdin. It's the diamond in the rough, like the good port of a game. Or, you know, not port, uh, license. There you go. Uh, it's a good licensed game that's like fun and like nice to play and like you like it and like it's, you know, it's sort of like a classic type of game. Uh, rock. Oh, no, just run away from them, of course. Ooh, another rock. Can I have two rocks? No, two rocks would be too much. But anyway, so, again, Aladdin, you know, classic game. And I thought, what, how do, how do I follow that up? And I thought, you know, I showed you something good. How about I show you something bad next? That, it makes sense in my mind, anyways. And so I was like, well, what do I want to do for a bad game? Like, we have a decent number to choose from on the Super Nintendo. I mean, the Super Nintendo has a very large catalog. Um... Not all of them are, are good winners. Like, you know, not all of them are Donkey Kong and Super Mario World. And so I thought, I was gonna take a look. Like, what do people consider like the worst games? And it's sort of interesting because, <laughs> so I go up there to get health and then like, I have to take damage because it's so far of a jump. Oh, that, that's a, that's a choice. That is, that is a choice that they made. All right. Get out of here, bats. Um, come on, pick it up. Thank you. Oh, and they're back again. Guess who's back? Guess who's bats? Bats again. Yeah, I don't care what's over there. There could be some super secret hidden thing, and I'm, nah, we're not doing that. Um, yeah, looking at, looking at lists of the worst games of Super Nintendo games. And the thing is... It varies based on which list you're looking at, which of course, you know, makes sense. People like, some people like one thing, some people like another. And, oh, ow. Well, I mean, I made the jump, so that's what counts, I guess. But there's a, a few games that show up a lot, right? Like, because some people, you know, will, will say like, oh, this is a bad game, and you know, these lists, of course, they're all subjective. It's not like you could point to something and say like, that is objectively bad. like. People have different stuff, and like, some of this stuff I find, you know, there's some games which I think get a bad rap. Um, stuff like Mario is Missing appears a lot on people's list, and I don't think Mario is Missing is a bad game. It's just, as someone who got Mario is Missing as a kid, 
it was disappointing because you're like, oh boy, a new Mario game. And then it turns out it's an education game about geography. Now, it, it, it's not bad. Like, if, you're, if your goal is have an edutainment game about geography, it's fine. And in fact, it's better than some of the other edutainment games I've, I've played. Now, it's not the, the best, like, you know, Super Muncher, Number Muncher, Oregon Trail, stuff like that, you know, that, that's better. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that it's high up there, but it's not, it shouldn't be on as many lists as it is, right? So, the heck is this? I mean, it, you're seeing this giant beam of light too, right? If I, like, throw a... No. No. Maybe I have to, like, pick up something? Huh, I can't pick that rock up. It's too far on the wall. Okay, well... I guess we'll come back there when we've got... something. That's a pit. It's a good thing that I can, you know, just look down and, and see where I'm going. Oh, wait, that's right, I can't. Um. Yeah, I... Yeah. Uh, I keep getting derailed. Again, I, I think it's understandable why, but... Oh, the bats don't even... No, oh, they do hurt you, never mind. Blah. Oh, I'm dead. Ugh. Also an appropriate reaction to being swarmed by bats. Like, I mean, bats are cool and cute, you know, they eat lots of bugs, and, like, bats look pretty neat, and... But yeah, like, they, they carry a lot of diseases. You do not want to be swarmed and bitten by a lot of bats. Well, I'll give that to him. I can't pick this up. Well, now I... All right. <laughs> okay, there's health there. Good to know. Leave it for when I inevitably take down. Wow. Okay, I opened it. Oh, okay, there we go. Got myself a ruby. Hey, look, I inevitably took damage. Just like I said. Uh, oh, uh, let's jump. Yeah, and jump. Yeah, you're doing it, Lester. You're doing it. Okay. Um. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Lots of lists. And things are not necessarily what I agree with, right? Because, like, as I said, Mario is missing. Not a good game, but it's not the, like, when people are, like, the worst game ever made for, no. It's not that bad. Like, I've played it, I've beaten it, it's not that bad. Um, some games I actually think are pretty fun. They, they're they very hard. I can understand why some people might put them up there, but uh, stuff like I saw one of the lists had Virtual Bart on it. Uh, Virtual Bart is very hard and has some awkward controls, but is otherwise actually a, a pretty fun game. Wow. Bwah! Okay. But there are some games that show up a lot. Yeah, you know, that show up on every list. Okay, I can't pick this up as much as I want to. Uh, so I'm nervous about these, these, okay. Okay, nervous about that turtle, do not enter. Well, that's helpful that this random tribe that's saying do not enter can, you know, write in English for me. That's very, very polite of them. I guess we have our own culture and customs, but, you know, just in case this dude named Lester swims up to our uh, shores, we're gonna, we're gonna write stuff just for him. Like, oh, thanks. Well, that's very nice of you. Um, but you, oh, I got bit by a turtle. Uh, what was I saying? This game, man, I will say it, it, it takes your focus. Oh, oh wow, those are instant death. Continue. No. Yeah, we'll keep going. We're not done yet. Not yet. Um. Why is his, like, I get that he's, he's like, you know, and, like, he's supposed to be shaking with fear, but it kind of looks like he's thrusting at the camera. And that seems a little... Yeah. You deal with your fear the way you have to, buddy. All right, I forgot secret turtle that I can't see. All right, um... Yeah. I just... Let me collect my thoughts. 
Let me stop. I'm just gonna stop playing the game, have a water break, and finish what I was trying to say like three screens ago. There are some games that appear a lot on all of these lists of really bad games. This is one of them. Now, and the reason why I chose this game over some of the others, there, there are some other bad games I want to play. Can I pick up the shell? No. Hello, shell. I want to pick you up. No. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that animation. What the? I play like in a boxing stance. Blech. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. She's just like, nope. Nope, not doing it. I mean, those, those are pretty... Ow. Yeah, this almost kind of feels like something like, um, like, I want to be the guy or, or, you know, stuff like that, where it's... There's the, you know, like that trolley type of game where it's like you, you like right here, you know, it's like you fall down and then all of a sudden random turtle bites you. Or you're, like you're walking forward, random thing just shoots you with darts. It almost feels like that type of game. And I wonder if that's. Ugh. I'll get to that. Um. Hey, it's funny. I stopped and I was like, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take a water break and collect and finish my thought. And then I kept going to try and finish it. And then I never actually finished it. So maybe I do actually have to stop to talk to you. All right. But I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna try and keep going so that we're not in this place any longer than we need to be. Oh, it wouldn't even stop. Okay. Lots of games appear repeatedly on many of these worst games lists. And you're like, oh, right. That's what you were talking about. The thing is, a lot of these games are either ports of something else, uh, especially arcade games, which, I mean, yes, they might be very bad, uh, and I do want to play at least one of them um, another time. We'll, we'll get into that in the future, but it, it kind of makes sense. Like, okay, if you have like an arcade cabinet, and you're taking that, like, a famous arcade, super popular thing, and putting it on the Super Nintendo. It makes sense that, like, those aren't going to be as good because you have such a limited amount of memory on the SNES cartridges. So, like, those will be bad, but, like, you know, in a different way. How do I avoid this, though? How do I avoid that? Like, I couldn't run away fast enough. What am I supposed to do? Huh. Um, so yeah, like, there's many games I could choose from, but I don't want to choose them because, like, they're bad, but can you blame them? Like, because they tried to put an arcade game, like a full arcade cabinet on a Super Nintendo cartridge. So games like that... I was like, eh, I'll pass on that for now, because those at least have a, you know, reason. And then you've got games, you know, um, that are just really, really bad, um, it, you know, tie-in licensed games. For instance, uh, the, uh, one of the Batmans. I forget which one. Batman Forever? Maybe? Either way, there's one of the Batman games, like Terminator 2, Judgment Day. There's a lot of, like, bad... Do I duck? Oh. No. How do I get past that part? I don't even know. Um, so yeah, lots of lots of bad licensed games. But again, licensed games sort of have like you know a reputation of being really bad. That's why Aladdin was, you know, so surprising why it's the diamond in the rough, because it's actually good when most licensed things aren't. So it's like, okay, well if I'm not doing an arcade port, because those are gonna be bad just because like you can't do the same thing with such limited memory. And I'm not going to do, like, a license game because those are going to be bad just because they are, usually. What else is on this list? And one of the ones that just, as I said, it showed up a lot was this game, Lester the Unlikely. And that's how we got here today, where I say, is it really as bad as people say? The answer... Oh. Seems to be maybe. Oh, yeah, we're gonna keep going. Okay, you know what? Let's look this up. 
Uh, okay. I see. Get out of my way, you. Ow. Alright. Jump. So. Well. Jump. Do not enter. I'm gonna enter. I just, I do not understand what this animation's about. about. Like, I don't know why you're like, eh, eh, eh. Across just that part where they're like, the tiki's are looking at you. All right, here we go. That's how you do it. Thanks, random internet guide. That like, of all the tiki's, like I tried to kick the first one and it didn't do anything. And I tried to kick the second one and it doesn't do anything. But of course you should know the third one. That one, of course, will have a, your result. Uh... Oh, and I'm go no. Well, whatever. We got past that part. Ooh. Oh. Ow. Ugh, stop doing that, man. It's it's kind of weird that he keeps doing that on the tiki's. Because I have noticed it's like he'll say stuff the first time you approach something, but then he doesn't. Except for those tiki's, he does. Like. The first time we got to a crab, he was like, ah, and ran away backwards. But then when we find another crab, you didn't. And like when we first got to the spikes, he was like, no. But then the second time we do it, he doesn't. When we get to the turtle, he ran away, but now he doesn't. But these, every time he does that with these tiki's, very interesting. I don't know what to make of it. Like, I, I don't know, is this, like, indicative of something? Did they just forget to program in, like, stop running, like, stop being scared at that part? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because it's, like, a story, quote-unquote, element and not a, uh... You know, not a just regular enemy type of thing. Yeah, I could jump. Does that actually get me through any faster? I don't know. Oh, all right. Playa! Ho ho! We know your secret now. But we don't know about the next secret, so. Do not enter. Well, I choose to ignore that. What? You expect me to read and make. That's how you got into this mess with. You know what? I want to know what's down here. Ooh. Something shiny. Not sure what. Like a gemstone or something. Will putting it on that, like, random altar stop the thing from shooting me? We can hope. As a reward for restoring the emerald crystal to its rightful place, you may now pass the Guardian Tiki unharmed. You must seek Hector to return home, but beware, he lives in the village just beyond the haunted burial ground. Ah. Are you not gonna say anything about the fact that you are a giant, like, stone face talking to me? Like, forget Haunted Burial Ground, like, that's already creepy enough, um... No, no. yeah, I agree, no. Because I was thinking, which is always a dangerous prospect, I know, and, you know, the fact that we're doing this clearly attests to that fact. 